Hello students, welcome to E. Patasala. Myself, uh, M. Saravanan, working as Assistant Professor at Kumaruru College of Technology. Today, we are going to discuss about the module Testing of Woven Fabrics for Surface Properties and Colorfulness Properties. Introduction about the module. The module discusses on testing of woven fabric properties, namely serviceability, commonly referred to as durability of the material and their fastness properties. The serviceability of woven fabrics mainly characterized on their surface response. Surface response here in this module covers about test methods used for pills, snag, abrasion, crease and drape tendency of woven fabrics. The fastness properties mainly deal with loss in color of dyed or even printed woven fabrics. Colored woven fabric against various factors such as light, sweat, wash, etc. and the test methods are exclusively discussed in this module. Objective of the module. Module aims to discuss the following three points and elaborate them in detail. Objective number one. Surface response of the woven fabric when they are subjected to abrasion, sharp point contact, crease, etc. Objective number two, resistance to leaching of color for colored woven fabric against different parameters is touched upon in this module. The last objective, test methods for pilling, snagging, abrasion, crease, fastness to color leaching are elaborated in this module. To start with, factors decides serviceability. A woven garment is considered to be serviceable when it is fit for its particular end use. Reduction in serviceable life is a complex phenomenon and can be brought about by any of the following changes. Namely, change in surface appearance of the fabric, bearing of parts of woven garment results in frayed appearance. The last one, tearing of fabric due to snagging by sharp objects. Pilling. Pilling is a condition that emerges in wear because of the formation of little pills of clinging fibers sticking to the surface of the fabric, giving it an unattractive appearance. Pills are created by a rubbing activity on loose fibers which are available on the surface of the fabric. Pilling was initially a blame discovered principally in wool fabrics and the related materials, but later it was made from soft twisted yarns also have the same risk of pills. The discovery of man-made filaments into apparel has aggravated its seriousness. The reason and clarification for this is, these strands are stronger than wool, so that the pill stay to the fabric surface as opposed to the breaking away like in wool fabric. The test method used for pilling evaluation is ICI pilling box method. In this method, four specimens are cut with the dimensions 125mm into 125mm, seam allowances of 12mm are given for each sample. Equally, two of the samples marking made in seam parallel to wift direction and seam parallel to the warp direction. Fabric samples are folded up face to face and the seam is sewn on the marked line. Two specimens with the seam parallel to the warp and two with the seam parallel to the wift are prepared for testing. Each specimen is turned inside out and 6 mm cut off each end of it, thus removing any sewing distortion. Fabric sleeves in tubular form are then mounted on rubber tubes so that length of tube showing at each end is same. Loose ends at end are taped with polyvinyl chloride tape so that 6 mm of the rubber tube is left unexposed. Fabric sleeve specimens are then placed in pilling box instrument two on right and two on left side of the instrument boxes. Samples are then tumbled together in a cork lined box which is there in the inner surface of the box. The usual number of revolutions used in the test is 18,000 which accounts for five hours. The specimens are removed after five hours from the tubes and viewed using oblique lighting in order to throw the pills into relief. The samples are then given a rating of 1 to 5, which 5 represents no pilling, 1 represents very severe pilling and other in between. Next is snagging. 
A snag is a loop of fiber that is pulled from a fabric when it is in contact with a rough object. Snags degrade the fabric appearance yet don't decrease any of its different properties. Fabric produced using bulked continuous filament yarns are especially vulnerable to the formation of snags. Even woven structures with long floats can likewise experience the ill effects of this snagging issue. Mace snagging test is a comparative test for the snagging propensity of knitted fabrics of textured polyester yarns. Originally developed by ICI to test the crimpling of yarns. In the test, a metal ball fitted with spikes bounces arbitrarily against a sleeve of the test fabric sample as it turns. The spikes just catch loops of thread that are lying in a particular orientation so that it is important to test both directions of a woven fabric. The sample dimension here is 203 mm into 330 mm, 2 with the long direction with the length of the fabric and 2 with the long direction lined up with the width of the fabric. A seam is marked on the back of the fabric 16 mm from the shorter edge. The fabric samples are then folded and sewn along the seam to frame a tubular fabric. The tube is turned back to front with the goal that the face of the fabric faces outside as it is in the case of peeling test. It is then slid over the cylinder of the machine and secured at each end with a rubber ring. A mace is put on each of the four test samples so that the chain holding it passes around the guide rod. The machine is then set to keep running for 600 revolutions totally for 10 minutes. At the end of the test, the surface appearance of the specimen is compared with a set of photographic standards and given a rating of 1 to 5 where 5 represents no snagging and 1 represents severe snagging and the rest lies in between. Next is abrasion resistance. The capacity of a fabric to oppose the action of abrasive forces is clearly one of the criteria to consider while evaluating the durability of the woven fabric. Abrasion may cause a decrease in appearances by affecting the surface of a fabric especially they lead to pill formation. Types of abrasion. There are many types namely plane abrasion, flex, edge abrasion or a combination of all the above. Two approaches have been used to assess the effect of abrasion. Number one, abrade the specimen until a required end point, for example a hole and record a time or number of cycles to form holes. Second is abrade for a set time or a number of cycles and evaluate some part of the abraded exa samples, example change in appearance, loose in weight, strength loss, change in thickness or any other significant property of the woven fabric. The instrument to evaluate the abrasion resistance is Martindale abrasion tester. The principle used is circular fabric samples are subjected to abrasion under known pressure on Martindale apparatus which gives a movement that it is a resultant of two simple harmonic motions at right angles to each other. The resistance to abrasion of the own fabric sample is assessed by visual appearance or by loss in mass of the fabric specimen. The procedure for mounting the sample in Martinelle abrasion tester, four samples each 38 mm in diameter across are cut utilizing the suitable cutter. They are then mounted in the sample holders with a circle of standard foam behind the fabric being tested. It is important that mounting of the specimen is done with the samples put level against the mounting block. The test sample holders are mounted on the machine with the fabric under test beside the abrade material. A spindle is inserted through the top plate and the right weight. More often it is having a specification of weight of 12 kilopascal yet 9 kilopascal can also be used if needed for specific type of fabric. Assessment. The specimen is examined at suitable intervals without removing it from his holder to see whether two threads on the woven fabric are broken. Alternate method to assess the abrasion capacity of the woven fabric is average rate of loss in mass. It is an alternative method of evaluating the resistance to abrasion for woven fabrics which requires 8 samples for the test. Two of these are abraded to the end point as said above 
holes formation or change in uh, weight and the other sets are rubbed to the off phases such as 25 percentage, 50 percentage, 75 percentage of the end point. Specimens are weighed to the closest 1 milligram before and after the abrasion with the goal that a chart can be plotted of reduction in weight of the woven fabric against the quantity of ruts. Slope of the chart gives us if it is a straight line the average loss in mass measured in milligram per thousand reps can be observed. Next one is crease recovery. It is another uh, important serviceability property of the woven fabric. Creasing of a fabric on wear is not a change in appearance that is generally desired like in pills, snacks, abrasion. Here the ability of a fabric to oppose crease is in the primary occurrence to the kind of fiber used in the woven fabric formation and its part of construction. Many woven fabrics have resin finishes in production with a specific end goal to enhance and it is subjected to crease resistance. The test was initially created to test the efficiency of those kind of finishes. The magnitude of crease recovery angle means that the ability of fabric to recover from incidental creasing. Few types of fabric attributed to relaxation, thickness and propensity to twist often leads to ill defined crease recovery angle and the loose estimations of yarns on the fabric also leads to crease formation. Test can be done in two defined atmospheres either standard one 65 plus or minus 2 RH and 28 degree Celsius another one is defined one 90 percentage RH and 35 degree Celsius. 20 regular samples are tested in this method each measuring with a dimension of 40 mm into 50 mm sample specification. Off of the samples slice parallel to the warp and off parallel to the weft. The test samples are folded in two the ends are being held by tweezers. Half the specimens are folded face to face and half of them are back to back. The samples are then set under a load of 10 Newton for 5 minutes. They are then transferred immediately to the holder of measuring instrument for crease recovery and one leg of the sample is embedded similar to the backstop. The instrument is balanced constantly to keep the free limb of the sample vertically. The recovery angle is measured by reading the scale when the free limb is vertical 5 minutes after the removal of the load. The last one in the serviceability of the own fabric is drape. Drape is the ability of a fabric to assume a graceful appearance in use. It is an important property for the textile materials. It is a result of the interaction between warpway and weftway characteristics of the woven fabric. Measurement of drape. The ability of a fabric can be determined using the instrument drape meter and it express terms of drape coefficient. The drape coefficient is characterized by following factors. Factor number one area of the specimen, area of the supporting disc, the actual projected area of the specimen. The drape coefficient through this particular drape meter is the ratio between the projected area of the drape specimen and its undraped area after the detection of the area of the supporting disc. It is given by a simple formula, color falseness. The next part, the ability of the woven fabric, mainly the colored woven fabrics to resist against different environmental factors, stability to color and Fastness property are much valued in customer point of view. Fastness means ability of dyed fabric to have a resistance against leaching of dyes against any hazards. Color leaching is assessed in terms of light, wash, rubbing, perspiration, water, even bleaching, acidic, alkali, etc. Various color fastness tests usually used in the industry. Number one, against washing. Number two, color fastness against rubbing. Number three, color falseness against sweat, even sometimes referred to as perspiration, followed by color falseness against ironing, next against light, color falseness against sunlight, color falseness against frosting, the last one, color falseness against burnt gas fumes. 
in elaborate color falseness against washing. Wash resistance determines the resistance of the colored textiles from all kinds of wash in water with soap and detergent. ISO standardized different test methods to check the color falseness to washing of the woven fabrics. Materials and apparatus required for color falseness to washing. Gyro wash machine, it composed of stainless steel container and wash wheel. A stainless steel ball of diameter 0.6 cm with weight of 1 mg is used. Woven fabric which can be multi-fiber. Thermometer with capacity of 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. Sewing machine, dryer, ISO type gray scale for assessing the treated sample. ISO type gray scale for staining, color matching cabinet. Sample preparation. Fabric specimen is cut in dimensions. 10 cm into 4 cm and also ensures all colors are included in it, different dye shades are included in it. Edges are sewn along with the same size of multi fiber fabric, any woven fabric. Composite test specimen dust formed is subjected to washing. The machine usually industry used is laundrometer. As per the ISO 105C03 standard, the composite sample is dealt with in a wash wheel or an equal apparatus at 60 plus or minus 2 degree Celsius for 30 minutes utilizing the color falseness test cleansers following ISO 77 standards in the composition 5 gram per, per liter and 2 gram per liter soda ash to a liquid ratio of 50 is to 1. At the end the reduced temperature and subsequently fa woven fabric is washed with chill water and then dry them. Evaluation. Compare the contrast between the treated and untreated sample with the changing gray scale and staining of color in the adjacent multi-fiber fabric with the staining gray scale prescribed by ISO. This assessment is done in a color matching cabinet under standard lighting of D65, usually artificial daylight. Next is color falseness against rubbing. Principle used is to determine the degree of color which may be transformed from the surface of a colored fabric to a specified test cloth after rubbing, even dry and wet condition. Crock meter is the common instrument used whereby fabric specimen is subjected to rubbing with a sample of standard undyed cotton fabric in order to check for color transfer. Apparatus and materials used for uh, rubbing falseness, crock meter, cotton rubbing, gray scale, stopwatch, color matching cabinet. Sample dimension used in this test method is 14 cm into 5 cm, both one in warp direction, another one is in weft direction in case of woven fabric. Crocking is the transference of color by wrapping from one color textile material to another. Dark shades are more likely to crock than light shades because there is more dye in the dark colors than the light ones. Even crock meter is suitable for printed woven fabrics. Dyed fabrics is less susceptible than printed fabrics because the dye is on the surface than inside the fabric. Wet fabrics will crock more easily than dry ones because moisture present assists in removing the dyes. Test procedure. Lock the test specimen onto the base of the crock meter. The arm is rotated back and forth causing the white crock test cloth to rub against the dyed fabric. Using the spinal clip of 5 cm into 5 cm of the white cotton fabric to the finger of the crock meter. Lower the covered finger on the test sample. Turn hand crank at the rate of 1 turn per second. Subjected to crock testing. Remove the white rubbing test cloth and subjected to evaluation using gray scale. In the evaluation stage, compare the contrast between the treated and untreated white rubbing cloth with the gray scale and rate them 1 to 5. Color falseness against sweat or even termed as perspiration. Principle used. The garments, mainly ovens, which come into contact with the body where perspiration is heavy may suffer serious local discoloration. This test is intended to determine the resistance of color of dyed oven textiles to the action of acidic and alkaline perspiration. Apparatus and materials. Perspiration tester oven that could be maintained at 37 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius, oven test fabric, grayscale, color matching chamber, acidic and alkaline solution, 
glass plate or acrylic plate, weighing balance, etc. Procedure used sample size here with the dimension of 10 cm into 4 cm, wet out the composite test sample in mentioned alkaline or acidic solution at room temperature. Metallist to liquor ratio can be 1 is to 50 and it can the sample can be leave for 30 minutes. Pour off excess solution from the sample and place the composite sample between two glass plates or a acrylic plate under a pressure of 4.5 kg and place in oven for 4 hours at 37 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius. Remove the specimen and hang to dry in warm air not exceeding 60 degrees Celsius. The samples are evaluated using gray scale in a color matching cabinet and they are rated from 1 to 5. Color falseness against ironing industry terminology is hot pressing. Principle used determination of the resistance of the color of dyed textiles to ironing and pressing on the hot cylinder. Apparatus and materials required heating device, smooth asbestos sheet, thickness of 3 to 6 mm, wool flannel, undyed fabric, bleached fabric, even masserized cotton fabric can also be used. Gray scale, standard color matching cabinet, distilled water. Procedure used 10 cm into 4 cm sample dimension taken and uh, in standard atmosphere of 21 plus or minus 1 degree Celsius with 65 plus or minus 2 day percentage RH before testing is conditioned. Then specified temperature is followed for the testing in three ranges 110 plus or minus 2 degree Celsius, 150 plus or minus 2 degree Celsius, 200 plus or minus 2 degree Celsius. Three types of uh, pressing can be evaluated. First one is dry pressing. Place the dry specimen on top of the cotton cloth covering the wool flannel pad. Lower the top plate of the heating device and leave the test specimen for 15 seconds at the recommended pressing temperature. Damp pressing. Here adjacent cotton fabric in dimension of 10 cm into 4 cm is immersed into the water and squeezed to get 100% pickup. Dry specimen is placed onto the undyed cotton fabric on the wool flannel pad and the prepared wet adjacent fabric is placed onto them. The top layer of the device is pulled down and dry specimen is pressed for 15 seconds at the determined temperature. The color change of the specimen is then noted down. Last one is wet pressing. Here soak the test specimen and a piece of adjacent cotton fabric in distilled water and again squeeze to make 100% pickup. Place the wet specimen on a piece of dry cotton fabric and place the wet cotton fabric on the specimen. Press by moving the iron to and fro over the wet cloth without any additional pressure for same 15 seconds. Evaluation is done numerically, color change rate immediately after testing and even after 4 hours in standard atmosphere then graded by grayscale 1 to 5. Color falseness against light. In this test method the resistance to fading of dyed textiles when exposed to daylight is evaluated. Test sample is exposed to light for a certain time like 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours, even 72 hours. The customer demand and the compare the change with original unexposed sample. It is graded using blue scales in the range 1 to 8. Procedure followed. Sample is cut and should be exposed in such a way that off covered and off exposed with the standard dyed wool samples in the grade 1 to 8. Standard and the specimen mounted in a frame, the composite sample must be protected from rain. Evaluation is then followed using European or American blue scale in the grading 1 to 8. Color falseness against light. Dyed fabrics when presented to daylight will in time blur or change shading. This property is called color falseness to sunlight. Many clothing are evaluated for 40 hours because certain woven fabrics need to oppose the blurring impact of the sun to a substantially more prominent way. For example, men's shoes. Draping fabrics are generally evaluated for 8 hours while fabrics used for covering are 160 hours. Instrument used is weatherometer. It offers quick weathering and light falseness test for chemicals. Usually a mix of manufactured light, warmth and dampness is subjected in this test method. Color falseness against frosting. The device used is a surface abrader. Frosting is a routine color change created by a generally serious flat abrasion action. Example back pocket of a trousers. Fabrics with poor color fixation will blur rapidly from the surface on wear due to abrasion leaving a very light color on the dyed fabric.
blended fabrics have color change if those fibers are susceptible to abrasive actions if a dark gray fabric the dark cotton will rub more rapidly than a white polyester fabric result in light dim shading the last color fastness against burnt gas fumes the color changes because of this nearness is due to nitrous oxide in the air acetate is more vulnerable material to this type of effect when dispersed dye is consolidated with acetate fabric material serious shading changes takes place given example blue which changes to purple in acetate woven fabric solution dyeing and inhibitors can be utilized to decrease or dispose of shading blurring the device used to carry out the test is gas fading chamber the sources used for burnt gas fumes is bunsen burner usually found at the bottom of the instrument coming to the conclusion the module summarizes the response behavior of woven fabric mainly for surface damage which they might expect in their usage mainly due to the wear and tear properties of the woven fabric the woven fabric usually have surface degradation in many factors namely sharp objects blunt objects tips even sometimes because of their self abrasion with the body the module also concludes on color leaching the resistance to color loss particularly to dyed woven fabric compared to dyed woven fabric printed fabrics are more susceptible to color leaching because printed fabrics have dyed pigments on the surface while dyed fabrics are having their in depth inside the woven fabric the dyed fabric requires color resistance if it fails will result in acceptable and unacceptable changes the unacceptable is mainly affecting the appearance of the woven fabric while acceptable with light shades sometimes reach to the rejection of the total lot by the customer